Right, so a lot of people have been asking me what will be the cutoff for LS and JRF for June 2017 paper. So let's just do a bit of analysis and let's try and find out the cutoff. Okay, so let's first of all discuss part A. So part A as compared to the uh, previous year papers was quite uh, simple and any average student I feel can do close to 8 to 10 questions. Okay. So let's say you can do 8 to 10 questions from part A. And uh, this is not my opinion. I have been taking feedback of many students and CSIR aspirants. And according to them, 8 to, 20, 8 to 10 questions was easily manageable. Okay. So let's just say this to be, so this, let's just write down the marks. So this is, let's say, equal to 16 to 20 marks. Okay. And okay, so now let's move on to part B. So part B, we'll divide it into inorganic. Okay, organic and physical. So if in inorganic, you, you if you see, there were quite easy questions. One was on isolable fragment, which was very easy. Then the other question was on Vesper theory, uh, where we need to find the shape then there was another uh, question on 18 electron rule and that was pretty simple as well uh, that could have been easily attempted one was on the stretching frequency of o2 that was also quite easy because that question was actually a repeat question from gate 2016 paper so we have four questions over here then one was on the acidity and base acidity basically of the hydrogen that question that question too was quite easy and then there was one question on magic number so we can say six questions could be easily attempted from from the inorganic part okay coming on to organic organic was uh, i think average it was a little tougher than inorganic and uh, anyone who knows a bit of organic could have attempted the nbs question the uh, the question on n bromo succinamide and also the uh, nmr uh, question where they had asked the number of peaks for dms or d6 so that was easily uh, manageable so let's say for organic we have two questions two to three questions okay the physical portion again was very easy we had question on the eigenfunction for a particular operator that was a pretty easy question then we had question on electrochemistry that was a little tricky so i won't count that because not every aspirant could have got that question correct then we had one question on polydispersity index which was quite easy as well then there was one question a direct question on bragg's law and then there was one question on uh, arrhenius equation where we need to where we needed to predict the pre exponential factor that was a very easy question and as was uh, a very easy question as well and there was one question on thermodynamics where we had to predict uh, i don't remember exactly the question there was one question on thermodyna thermodynamics which was pretty easy so let's say we could have attempted five questions in physical so if you calculate the total 6 plus 11 6 plus 5 11 plus 2 13 questions so let's say if you 12 to 14 questions because uh, we will uh, we are also taking you know the silly mistakes so anywhere between 24 to 28 marks from part b okay <coughs> moving on to part c again we'll divide it into inorganic okay organic and physical so let's do the analysis of part c so in in organic out of the two questions that came for esr we can say one of them was easy okay then there were two questions on bio inorganic and out of them again one was quite simple then we had a question on color in coordination compound that was also quite simple so we have three questions over here then we had one question from acid acidity basicity so that was also very very simple so four questions in an inorganic part okay and one one you know one question you can say was there was one question on organometallics which m many students got uh, correct and like it was a 50% question like 50% aspirants got it correct 50% got incorrect so let's just say five questions for 
uh, in organic okay coming on to organic organic part C was actually sim simpler than part B so there was one easy question from NMR then there was one question on the <clears throat> DNA and uh, so it was a question where it was asked I think Eurocell is present in which DNA are in your what so that was a pretty easy question so two questions from organic and then there was one question on specific rotation again from organic so three questions were very very di direct and simple and one who has a strong organic can at least do at least minimum to minimum four questions you know three questions can be done by a, a person who is average in organic so three to four questions in organic coming on to physical physical again part c was very simple out of the three questions in group theory one was pretty simple that was based on molecule symbols so one question over there then we had one question from solid state which was again very simple where we need, needed to find out the atomic radius that was a direct question so two questions and then we had uh, which what else we had these two questions and uh, just let me remember easy question from yeah michael Ment michael mentney's kinetic kinetics then there was one very easy question from nmr that was again a repeat question it actually came in i think csi net december 2015 same question uh, as it is so four questions then we had one question which was from uh, again rna's equation where we ne needed to uh, relate the pre pre exponential factor with the uh, k k that was again a very simple question and then there was one question on polydispersity index where we needed to find out the uh, number average molar mass so six questions in all from uh, physical and if we take silly mistakes so we can just say five to six questions okay so total we have is five plus three eight plus five thirteen thirteen to fifteen questions we have from physical that makes it 52 to 60 marks okay so now if we calculate the expected cutoff <coughs> so let's just calculate the expected cutoff so let's say for ls so we'll calculate the lower values so 16 plus 24 40 40 plus 52 92 so around 92 to i would say a little higher side 95 marks is ls and if i go for jrf then we have 60 plus 28 that's 88 plus 20 so 108 so I'll say 105 to 108 marks will be the cutoff for JRF so this is my prediction and I hope you, you guys are making above 108 to have a sure short chance of getting your fellowship all the best